moon bow The sun bear says hello to everyone oh, hello. To the clouds and the trees And to you and the bees To the stars and the moon and the sun Moon bow is your friend This is the moon bow, and uh, here is my friend the mix. Say hello, mix. Hello, everyone. Yeah, that is the mix. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, today this is actually a pre recorded show. Yeah, very technical. <laughs> because hopefully, right now, uh, I am actually on a trip. Yeah. A trip to Scotland. Oh, that is nice. Anyway, so we are in the studio today. I will not tell you what day it is actually right now for Moonball, but this is the show for the new moon. Oh, so nice. New moon, new starts for the 17th of September 2020 in the time of COVID. Yeah. When we started this show in January 2019, we did not know that the COVID was coming. But it is here. And uh, yeah, if, uh, if there is a lockdown, <laughs> then I won't be on my trip when this show is aired. But if not, I will be in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so for today, the 17th of September, 2020, new moon. Mix? Yes, Moonbow. You tell them what the new moon is for. <laughs> okay. It's for new beginnings and setting intentions. Yeah, you are a good student, Mix. You have learned from the Moonbow. So yeah, this is the time when... Uh, it is the, you can't see the moon, yeah, it is dark moon, also sometimes called dark moon, new moon, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, and it is like, yeah, like a blank page or, yeah, a fresh start, time to start again, and then the moon gets bigger and bigger and grows, so you think, what do I need to grow, so those who watch my show know this, you are good students of the moonbow. Yeah, but mix. Yes, moonbow. This is also a very uh, extraordinary time of year for other reasons. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, uh, moonbow, uh, moonbow doesn't have a religion, guys. Uh, no. Uh, I have a philosophy of Moonbow, the Moonbow philosophy, which is about love, yeah? But I don't have a religion. But apparently, in the Jewish religion that I don't know so much about, maybe someone can write in to me and explain things to me about Judaism. I don't know about it, but it is something called Rosh Hashanah, Ro Rosh I heard it Rosh Hashanah, but it is something like Rosh Hashanah. I don't know the right pronunciation, guys. I am sorry if I am mangling the name of your uh, special time. But it is the Jewish New Year. Max! Yes, Moonbow. Yeah, New Year. Time for a New Year in September. That is a nice thing to have, New Year. And the thing is, they have something called the Day of Awe. Ha! Moonbo likes this very much. A day of awe. Ah! Moonbo is in awe. Are you in awe? Yeah, I am, Mix. I am in awe of life. I am in awe of being Moonbo. Alive, 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 oh, in this time, it is a miracle. I am in awe of my toes, oh, toes, toes. Yeah, I am in awe of my nose, oh, 
in awe. Yeah, I am in awe. I am in awe of of you, Max, my friend. Yeah, I am in awe of many things. Hello, hello. I am in awe of my friends. I am in awe of YouTube and technology. I am in awe of Roxy, and I am in awe of. Sim and I am in awe of the sun and the moon and I am in awe. I am in awe. Oh, Mumbo. Yeah. Mix? Yes, Mumbo. Mumbo yes. thinks that every day is a day of awe for Mumbo. Every day is a day of awe. Every day is a day of awe. Yeah, I could get a t-shirt that said that every day is a day of awe and wonder. Huh. That Jewish people, they know about awe. That is so good. Thank you to the Jewish people for the day of awe. I think it is coming maybe tomorrow, the 18th. For several days. Anyway, it is a time of Rosh Hashanah and it is a time of reflection. Yeah. And atonement. Oh, mix. Yes, Mumbo. That is, that is quite a thing. Atonement. Atonement. Do you want to say something about that? Yeah, atonement. That is like when you you have to make good for for what you have done not so good. Yeah? Like like an apology or an amends or really going deep into your heart. And saying, I did not do something so good. Now this, this is a deep practice. Reflection and atonement. Yeah. Like Thai, Thich Nhat Hanh, he says, New Year, New You. And he says, he makes a little joke. And he says, if you start the new year and you are going to do exactly what you did last year. Then that is not a new year and it is not a new you. You will just be repeating the same. That you have to have intentions. Yeah! Like the new moon. Yeah. So I want to think about this. What do you want to think about? Atonement mix. Imagine if we all did that, what the Jewish religion is inviting us to do. Yeah? Be in awe. Reflect. And atone. Like, mix! Yes, Mumbo. Yeah, you know about those, um, you know, you taught me about the 12 step fellowships. Yes, I did. Yeah, like AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, that kind of thing. But there are many of them. AA, NA, Al-Anon, CODA, ACOA, all kinds of, DA, UA, all kinds of them. Anyway, they have the 12 steps, right, Max? That's right. And, uh, yeah, in the fourth step, you take a personal inventory and then... In the fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth and nineteenth, then you are basically making amends. You are admitting your wrongdoings and you are making amends. That is the words they use, right, Mix? That's right. They talk about making amends. Yeah. So, that is atonement too, I think. And it is like. Committing to not do it again. So, I want to talk about two other things, about all together. So, this is new moon, intentions, 
fresh start, yeah? Day of awe, and then Rosh Hasana, Rosh Hasana, yeah, this, uh, this, uh, the, uh, period of, uh, of, of a new year and reflection and, uh, atonement, yeah, um, the other thing is, the other date that's coming up, guys, is, um, is the, uh, autumn e equinox, yeah, that is on the 22nd of September this year, it floats, you can't always, people think it is always the 21st, it is not, it floats, so at different times, it depends on the leap year and things like that, but anyway, it is the 22nd here in, in London, England anyway, time zone, so, um, that is coming up too in five days. So it's near that time where the light and the dark are perfectly balanced. Yeah, all over the planet. In the southern hemisphere, it is the spring equinox, but it is also equal light and dark. So there's something here about the balance, right? Like balance. So all these things together, guys, I want to tell you... <laughs> Moonbo wants to tell you something about the practice that I do myself. Hmm. But I sometimes have a have a <laughs> mix. <laughs> what Moonbo? I'm a bit embarrassed. When I do this practice, I sometimes fall asleep. <laughs> it's not so good. But I will tell you what it is. It is a practice uh, called touching the earth. Ah, so when you go into your self, like Moonbo goes into Moonbo self, and I say, oh, that was not so good that time I was a bit greedy, or that time I was interrupting, or too excited, or when I used to eat the bees, or not grateful enough, or mm, not mindful enough, or something like that, and then I want to atone, right? So first of all, with the equinox, eh, there's something about the balance, right? So um, in the 12 steps, sometimes they make sure that you don't just get hard on yourself when you do your moral inventory, that you don't just talk about when you were selfish, you also talk about when you were generous, yeah? So when you do your moral inventory, then you must have balance and see the good bits and the difficult bits, yeah? No mud, no lotus. Look at the lotus flower, beautiful flower in Munbo, and the muddy bits. Oh, not so nice. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so touching the earth, right? Hmm. There are many practices with touching the earth, but I am going to talk about the one. So, if Munbo says, um, in gratitude to my sun bear ancestors, I bow down and touch the earth. And then I, huh, I go flat. You need, you need to use your imagination now. You imagine uh, the moon bow uh, flat down. Oh, yeah, but all spread out. Yeah, and um, then with my paws uh, flipped, yeah flipped up like that and uh, and me down like that but all on my belly and that is sometimes when I fall asleep <laughs> that is not so good moonbo wake up anyway so the moonbo is giving thanks but also thinking about my inheritance right it's thinking about the things that are in me that are good and precious and wonderful yeah Moonbo's joy, Moonbo's love, Moonbo's silliness, those may be things that are nice, but then there are not so nice things, like maybe I am too much a show-off, or maybe I am boring, or maybe um, I ate bees, or I was greedy for the ice cream, or I was not loyal enough, I don't know, but... Those are the things I need to work with and also let go. So, 
this is where I am maybe being a bit confused, but when they talk about atonement, I also think about surrender. Right? Mix? Yes, Mumbo. Am I making any sense? Um, I, I think so. Yeah, you carry on. Okay. Well, you see, if I have uh, something like greediness and I want to atone for it, I might need to make an apology. But mostly I need to stand naked before myself and say, Moonbo, Moonbo, pay attention, Moonbo. Moonbo, there is greediness in you. Moonbo, there is carelessness in you. Moonbo, there is thoughtlessness in you. Yeah, and noticing those seeds and standing naked before myself and taking a true assessment. And then I say, that is when to touch the earth and say, please, Mama Earth, you are so strong and beautiful and I am so sorry. Moonbo is so sorry and um, please help me transform these seeds of thoughtness, thoughtlessness and carelessness and things like that. And don't go to sleep, Moonbo, when you are touching the earth, even though you love lying on the earth. It is so nice. So that is what I wanted to say, guys, about uh, this new year, um, Jewish New Year, and moving into the autumn. Because here in the UK, Europe, North America, um, lots of places, it is going to get colder. And um, maybe the coronavirus is going to get bad again, and maybe even lockdown again. And it's going to be hard, possibly. So it's a nice time uh, you stand on the threshold on the equinox um 22nd september and you say i am standing on the threshold going into the uh, autumn and winter if you are in the northern hemisphere and i i want to surrender oh mama earth mama earth Take a moon boys, not so nice things. Yeah, help me to transform them and be a better moon ball. Yeah. So anyway, that is my show, if you can believe it, <laughs> for when we are possibly in Scotland. But uh, I want to wish you a happy new moon. Mix? Yes, moon ball. Was that a funny show? It was a bit of a funny show. Oh. Is it okay to put it on air? It's fine. It's just Moonbow. Yeah, it's just Moonbow being Moonbow. <laughs> anyway, that is why we have an autumn leaf here. If it hasn't fallen off. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, uh, happy new moon and happy day of awe. <sighs> And happy Rosh Hashanah. I think it is starting tomorrow, the 18th. And then also happy autumn equinox on the 22nd. So I hope you have a nice time for new moon and all these things for the next uh, five days, six days. And um, maybe you would like to practice touching the earth or your own way of reflecting and atoning it is a beautiful practice and make sure to water your beautiful flowers too and know all of the beautiful gifts you have been given by your ancestors and the conditions of your life and your friends and uh yeah and moonbo moonbo wants to thank all of you for being here and i can feel you right now even though we are in different space and time <laughs> i can feel you anyway yeah, hello, hello. Okay, but that is actually going to be goodbye in a second. So you say bye-bye, Mix. Bye, everyone. Yeah, and bye from Moonbo. See you next time. Moonbo, the sun bear says hello to 
everyone oh, hello. To the clouds and the trees And to you and the bees To the stars and the moon and the sun Oh, happy-hearted moon bow Such joy from start to end With fur and toes and ears and nose 